Hey guys, I've been uh, not doing a whole lot of videos lately, but I've been building. So I want to show y'all a little bit of a building I'm doing. There's one of those big RVs I'm tearing apart. Um, I'll get a whole bunch of those, so I tear them all apart. Now, um, what I built here is I took a bunch of frames, and you can do this too. This is not that hard. And using just standard roofing metal um, that I found that on Craigslist, and using something that a lot of people don't realize what it is this is hat metal i want to show you the profile of it see now normally this hat metal is used for metal buildings and other things you can buy it at a building supply where they have like metal studs and um sheetrock and things for commercial buildings in most every town of above thirty thousand, you can get this but it's called either furring metal or hat metal now this is the this is the 20 gauge as you can see it's pretty thick 20 gauge and it is two and a half wide inch and a half deep it's very structurally sound you cannot bend this once it's been attached to all this metal it's really strong and very rigid now what i did is i took a bunch of old harbor freight frames as you can see up in here and just used them as the base structural to build off of and just spot welded some of them there. It don't weld because that paint stuff, but just to, to make it to where it was like a jig, basically. Um, it's not very structural. It's it's strong. I mean, it holds up, but it's just an old $99 Harbor Freight carport frames. And I took a number of them that I had bought off over time from Craigslist and garage sales, and you get them for $10 because tarp will all go bad. Well, sitting up in here is a Harbor Freight frame times two and a half for all the materials. And um, my truck fits in here very well, the big 97 Ford. And as you can see, just old used metal. See, there's even some of the rubber gaskets that are still on it. But it is a very good build. Still got a little trim work to do there. Um, put the top on. These are all just parts that I got and salvaged and built this nice frame now over on this side we used wood so that i could attach something to it uh, a little easier but you can see the metal frame up in there and all of this is the same way so it's about i'd say uh, 25 percent wood and the rest of it is all this metal and you can see the metal studs or the metal um, hat metal hat metal and the reason they call it hat metal is is as you can see here it's kind of shaped like a hat now it holds these steel self-tapping it holds these steel self-tapping screws very very well now this can handle and has just handled because we just got a big snowfall a lot of snow the uh, um, the rest of this is still yet to be finished but see the metal is even laying on the ground dirty now I'll pressure wash it later um, but I built this for under under $250. So this is a this is a 21 foot long building here that is 14 feet wide and 21 foot long. As you can see over here on this side, away from the house, it's all white metal. So the metal was white, and I got this metal for practically free. Uh, I paid $10 for all this metal because it has the paint wasn't good when it came from the factory and they'd made the they'd made the roofing metal for a guy and it basically he says oh no don't want it so and i ended up with it now going around out here these this is one and a half inch conduit galvanized in concrete with bolts in it so it don't pull out um it's mainly just so that it's physically stout on the ground these posts do go all the way down with it and using everything that i had on here is all hat metal and then so that i'd have a surface i used aluminum out here as a square on all four corners to square it with and of course like i said there's the wood there um these being inch and a quarter pipes here i shimmed them with quarter inch so that they would match the inch and a half pipes out here and so far it's done made it through three big snows and 
Very stout, very stout. Same way up here, inch and a quarter with shims in it. And then I put two by threes in here so that it would make sure that I would handle the snow load. And then using three quarter inch conduit, smash flat on each end, I put in a trussing system so that it's trussed. And then I use plywood on the back of that down there. It's got metal I have to put on the end of it. I ran out of metal. Down here, I just used the metal and the same thing. This is inch and a half conduit right here screwed in and smashed flat and then three quarter right there and a few more plates and stuff to strengthen it up but we had a 55 mile per hour wind it didn't move very very solid so just want to give you all an idea for winter time you could build something like that <laughs> but other than needing a bath that metal is just fine for the purpose as far as the uh the video showing you about hat metal now you see why they call it hat metal it's also called furring metal because you mount it on the wall you can hook sheet mount sheetrock to it for sound deadening this is the one inch and they come in three quarter one and one and a half and you can see that gauge it's pretty heavy duty this is 20 gauge right here and it is very rigid um, there's a lot of floor kits and things that are made with this stuff for putting on wood floors on concrete and it's just really bulletproof it's about four dollars for a 12 foot stick of this stuff and you can build with it you can just build 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 and build them yep we're almost finished with this one um sorry it's taking so long i've uh, been running my ass off a lot of work lately so all right guys and uh the dirt will be washed off